Hey everybody, this is Steve Hausen with Bobu.com and I wanted to show you my latest project I've been working on which is loading Mac OS Leopard 10.5.5 on my Acer Aspire 1 laptop and first thing I'll do is go ahead and fire it up what I did was I did a dual boot on here with the pre-installed XP, I repartitioned the drive, added a second partition and added the Mac OS on there I'm just going to take you through the boot up process. Uh, so far everything is working including wireless. The only thing that's not working is there's a 5-in-1 card reader on this side and then there's another uh, SD card reader on the left side. Neither of those are working and the laptop doesn't go to sleep but really I never use sleep mode anyway. And the audio does not switch from internal speakers to headphones automatically. You have to go through the control panel well, the Mac equivalent of the control panel and switch it to from headphones to speaker. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the screen here so we can see that a little better. So as you can see, it starts up pretty quick. Um, because of the resolution, it's 1200 by, or 1024 by 600, so I moved the dock off to the side just to save on the screen real estate. But here we are, a full-blown version of Leopard. If we go to the about Mac. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little more. We have the uh, list the Intel Atom CPU N270 at 1.6 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, and the startup disk is OSX. That's just the name of the disk that I that I gave it. Um, as you can see, there's wire, the wireless is active. I'm connected to my wireless here, and it's seeing my neighbors right here. Um, Spaces is working fine. If we go ahead and do uh, the F8 to bring up the different spaces, switch between them. Uh, Expose and dashboard is working great. Got my little sports thing up here, and then the default widgets. Go ahead and uh, open Firefox. Oh, another nice thing is that the video card, the video camera in the Aspire works out of the box. I didn't have to load any drivers for that. For the wireless to work, I did have to crack open the laptop and replace the wireless card. The wireless card cost me about 10 bucks on eBay and uh, took me about 10 minutes to replace it. You can see all the expose features are all working fine. The graphics card is the same graphics card that's in, <coughs> excuse me in the original MacBook, so it's all supported, fully supported. Um, let's see, you can use Time Machine. Time Machine's working fine. Um, an external monitor does work and it'll support the full resolution of the external monitor. Uh, you can see a little Bluetooth icon up here because I used a little a Bluetooth adapter. This laptop doesn't have Bluetooth built in. And another artifact of this Hackintosh is that the battery is not detected correctly. Um, so you can add that to the list of the things that it's not working. You can see here this Acer drive. This is my Windows drive. So we can read files from here. It's NTFS so we can't write anything to there. But um, as you can see, it's a fully working and actually very quick install of Leopard. If we go here, there's the internal camera working. Uh, hope we don't get a video feedback. <laughs> so that's it. Um, on the YouTube post and on the website, bubu.com, B-U-H-B-O-O.com. I'll go ahead and post links to some of the tutorials I use to set this up if you're at all curious. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.